Love it or loathe it, the bold new arena of cryptocurrency has made a bunch of people very rich very fast. So who actually are the richest? Join us today as we run down the plutocrat pop charts and meet the five richest known crypto billionaires. In at number five, Fred Ursum. Frederick Fred Ernest Ursum III has impeccable tech nerd credentials. At high school, he played World of Warcraft professionally. He later went on to study computer science at Duke with a research interest in self-assembling DNA nanostructures. Following a short stint as a trader at Goldman Sachs, Fred co-founded Coinbase with Brian Armstrong, who, spoiler, we'll meet a bit later on this list. The pair first met, adorably, on a Reddit forum. Today, Fred runs Paradigm, an investment company that plows capital into the future giants of crypto and Web3, and he's personally worth some $3.5 billion. Number four, the Winklevoss twins. Most famous for their role as bitter also rans in the story of Facebook, the preppy Olympian brothers received a $65 million cash settlement from Mark Zuckerberg in 2008. Presciently, they later snapped up 10,000 Bitcoin at roughly $120 a coin in 2012 and became billionaires in a few short years. The Winklevoss's biggest contribution to the crypto world was founding Gemini in 2014. Gemini, it's named that because they're twins, get it, serves as an interface between the wild west of blockchain fintech and the more stuffy realm of traditional financial services. Regular Joes or hardcore Bitcoin stands can buy, sell and store digital assets via Gemini, safe in the knowledge it's all regulated by the New York State Department of Financial Services, NYDFS. The firm's currency, Gemini coin, is even unusually tied to the US dollar. The twins, each worth around $4.3 billion, just completed a $400 million funding round to begin work on a decentralized rival to Facebook's looming metaverse. Revenge may well turn out to be a dish best served cold. At three, it's Chris Larson. This silver-haired sexagenarian is no stranger to the dizzy heights of the Forbes rich list. E-Loan, the online mortgage lender he founded in 1996, was already worth a billion dollars by the turn of the millennium. Chris Larson's smart early championing of crypto indeed saw his personal fortune soar to $59 billion, briefly overtaking Mark Zuckerberg in early 2018 to become the fifth richest person on earth. Larson's company Ripple, now known as XRP, provides an exchange system geared toward international banking transactions. It's all private, safe, effective in seconds, and trusted by venerable institutions like American Express and Santander. Larson is a vocal advocate for online privacy and is notably generous with his estimated $6 billion fortune. He's donated $25 million to his alma mater San Francisco University and recently ponied up $1 million each to five food banks during the height of the COVID-19 pandemic. It's worth noting Larson's fortune was actually reduced by a bruising $44 billion after his Ripple coin catastrophically plunged in value from $3.65 a coin to just 45 cents. That's probably why they changed the name. Looking strong at number two, it's Brian Armstrong. Coinbase's other founder, computer science major Brian Armstrong, was inspired to think about the iniquities of global interbank payment systems after a stint working as a developer for Airbnb. He made the vast bulk of his own crypto fortune, $12 billion and counting, through Coinbase. Coinbase, if you didn't already know, is a cryptocurrency trading and investing platform platform that offers regular punters the ability to buy, sell and exchange over 100 cryptocurrencies including Bitcoin, Ethereum and, sure, why not, Dogecoin. Coinbase is a giant of the field, with some 73 million verified users and $255 billion in assets already traded on the platform. Armstrong is a nice guy too. In 2018, he became the first crypto tycoon to sign the philanthropic giving pledge, and he helped set up GiveCrypto.org, which facilitated public or anonymous donations to those living in poverty. He's also big on education, providing funding and guidance to scientific research mecca Research Hub, which aspires to make research papers available to all. And at number one, it's Sam Bankman-Fried. Ahead by a mile, the offspring of not one, but two Stanford law professors originally studied physics at MIT, until deciding, rather cannily, to spend his time thinking about crypto. Bankman Fried is a vegan whose life was changed when he discovered the philosophy of utilitarianism. Utilitarianism, since you ask, is an ethical worldview developed in 19th century London by Jeremy Bentham and later John Stuart Mill. The idea, put simply, is that in a godless, complex modern society, individuals should do all they can to further 
further the pursuit of happiness. Not necessarily narrow selfish happiness mind, but rather the improvement of the overall happiness or common good. Still only 29 and worth an eye-watering $22.5 billion, the Hong Kong resident exercises his belief in utilitarianism through effective altruism. As in, Bankman Freed earns as much as he can with the idea he can later invest it all in philanthropic endeavors. He's already supporting initiatives as diverse as voter registration, global poverty mitigation, and artificial intelligence safety. His crypto derivatives exchange, FTX, was recently valued at $18 billion, doubling his wealth at a stroke. How much good will he ultimately do? Only time will tell. What do you think? Is this new breed of crypto baron markedly different to the avaricious industrialists of the past? Let us know in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe for more Cash Money tech content.